welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your workout of the day. Today we'll be working on express arms. You will need a resistance band and if you don't have one you can use your own weight or you can actually use weights also. Otherwise it's going to be pretty Hello friends and welcome back to your workout of the day. Today we will be doing express arms. You will need a band for this workout and if you don't have a band you can use your own body weight or you can also use weights. We're going to do two rounds, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. It will be fun, it will be quick. So we're going to jump right into it. In your first exercise, you're going to be on your shins. You're going to extend your arms away from you and you're going to start to draw your arms even further away. So finding more width between your hands. And when you pull on that resistance band, I want you to hold it on that pull and then bring it back. Engage the core. Let your tailbone, your bum, lengthen to the floor. Pulling those shoulders back. Keeping that grip on that band tight. Deep breaths. Good. If you have weights, you're keeping your weights in front of your shoulders and you're separating them. And the same thing if you're using your body weight. We've got 10. For eight. Four, two, and one. Roll your shoulders back. You're gonna grab your band behind you now. Tilt your upper body forward. Your palms are facing away from the body. Draw your arms up. You're gonna separate and release. Separate and release. Engaging your triceps. Knowing that the shorter width you have in the band, the more tension it's going to be. And if you create your width between your hands a little wider, it'll be easier. Your choice. Modify if you need to. If you're just using your body weight, you're going out and in, out and in with your arms as high as they possibly can go. And same with the weights. Good. Stay with me 15 seconds. We're going to move into a chest press after this in five, four, three, two, and one. Take that band around your back side, hold onto the band, and make sure that there's even band on either side. You're going to hold onto that band, express your arms forward, express them back, elbows bent. Good, just like a chest press. Keeping constant resistance to that band at all times. Good, stay with me. Really pushing those arms out. 15 seconds. You got it. 10. Eight, six, four, two, and one. Let it go. Roll those shoulders. One more on your knees. If you feel like this is too much pressure on your knees, you take a seat. You're going to reach your bed in front of you and then extend your arms up. Separate them wider. So kind of like you're creating a Y. Reach up and separate. Good return. Reach up and separate. Lingering on that separation. Controlling the whole entire body by stacking your joints. Utilize that breath. We've got 16 seconds. Squeeze the bum cheeks. Activate the glutes. For eight, for six, four, three, two, and one. Finish 
push it on, let go of the band. So we have a few exercises just with our own body weights. You're gonna come to a modified plank. If you want more intensity, you come to that full version. Your hands are as wide as your mat. You're gonna come into shoulder push-ups. So coming down and up. We're gonna add on to this. So you're gonna do two push-ups. Sit the bum back. Glide forward, come back to those push-ups. Sit the bum back. So just articulating the spine here and noticing the difference from shifting your pelvis forward and shifting it back and how you engage the glutes every time you shift that pelvis forward as well as engaging the core for three, two, and one. Good job. Moving into our last exercise, just with our body weight, then we're done round one. You're gonna tap opposite shoulders with opposite hands. And to intensify, you can come onto your toes, your choice. Maybe you tilt your weight more forward, engaging your lower abdominals. Deep breaths. Maybe you come up onto your toes for the last 18 seconds. You got it. Keep it strong. Stay with it. 10 seconds. Keep that bum nice in the middle for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. We are done. Round one. Round two. Getting into it in seven seconds. If you want water, grab a quick zip. Start with those little pulses out. So coming out a little bit, coming back in. If you allow your pinky fingers to really squeeze that ribbon, then you'll see and feel your triceps, the back of your arms, engage. Engaging the pectoralis every time you pull that resistance band. We've got 10 seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now it comes behind your buttocks. And this time we're gonna add a little bit of a dynamic movement. So you're gonna reach your arms away, separate, bring them back and bring them down. Little up, little apart, little in, little down. Continue. Good, if you wanna sit down, you can do that. I just want you to tilt your upper body slightly forward and send that bum slightly back. We're gonna move into a chest press after this. 18 seconds. My arms are burning. I'm sure yours are too. We've got 10, eight, six, four, two, and one. Roll those shoulders back. Slide that ribbon behind your bra. And when you're ready, we're gonna start in six seconds. Roll those shoulders back, puff out that chest. Straight spine and start. Really pushing out as if you were punching something in front of you. We're so close to the end. Three more exercises after this, and we are done. Maybe you'll have to get other people to lift things up for you after this. Your arms may be jello. For 15 seconds, keep going. 10, eight, six, four, two, 
Making that Y shape now. You're gonna either stay on your shins or sit onto your buttocks. Shoulders stay in their sockets. Extend your arms forward. Reach up and widen. And join me. When you reach up, try to keep those ribs contained. Naturally, they'll want to flare forward and you will want to engage in a back bend. But try your very best to keep the core active. 20 seconds. So close. We got this. Express arms. Here we come. For 10. 8. 6. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Say bye bye to that band. Come on to your hands and knees. Moving into that dynamic push up. Two push ups down. Come into a child's pose. Take a moment to round the spine and come back into it. 45 seconds, let's do this. It gives you a nice little moment of rest when you do bring that bum back. Giving some love to that spine. 25 seconds. You got it. Stay with me. Almost there. Can't give up now. 10 seconds. Make those elbows nice and wide. For five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Last exercise, starting in six seconds. On your knees or on your toes, let's get this. Coming into that full plank or that modified plank, tap your shoulders, 45 seconds on the clock. This is it. This is the finale. There is no burner after this. I'm being kind to you. Just 20 seconds here. Keep that bump low. Keep that heart sliding forward. Keep those shoulders down. For 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <sighs> Feels so good to be done. Felt so good to strengthen our arms. Something that I don't necessarily love to strengthen, but it is imperative to keep that balance. If you want to see more Express videos, leave a comment below. And if you want to see updated videos, subscribe to my channel and you will get all those notifications. See you next time.